What's going on, everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod. I'm back to continue my um, Hackintosh Project 2012 unboxing videos. Um, in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my Gigabit Z77X D3H uh, motherboard. So this is the motherboard I chose, and I know it's not recommended for Hackintosh, but I'm not only running Hackintosh on it, I'm also going to put Windows on it. So uh, the reason I went for this one is one, because of the price. Uh, two, it came with free 8 gigabytes of RAM. I will sometime be updating to either 16 or 32 gigs, but as a starter, I didn't want to dish out too much money. So um, it came with RAM, which I'll um, unbox in another video. You can check that out um, in the playlist. By the way, if you missed out on anything, there's a playlist link in the description to see all of the videos in this series. And if you haven't yet subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. But this motherboard, it's compatible with Hackintosh. The only thing that doesn't work is the audio built into it, which doesn't matter for me because eventually I'll be putting an audio card into it, um, hopefully. But for now, I'm using an uh, Avid Fast Track anyway, so that's a USB audio interface, so I won't be using the onboard audio anyway, so that doesn't really matter for me. Uh, without anything else, let's just get into this unboxing. And uh, right on top, we have some stuff, so let's go ahead and take a look. This is the uh, plate to go on the case that we use. I'm going to be using, uh, so you have all your ports and everything. That's going to come in handy. So we'll just set that aside. It looks like this is um, like a SATA cable. I believe that's a SATA cable. And I am new to building computers. This is the first computer I will ever have built. So uh, if I don't know what some of the stuff is, that's why. This looks like another cable. I think these are the same cable, I think. One's just blue, one's black. I'll have to read the manual and see what the difference is between these, but these look like SATA cables. Um, <clears throat> this, I think, is called an SLI cable. It says SLI on it, and I think that's what it stands for. Is, is, I don't. I think that it's called an SLI cable, and it says SLI on it. Uh, I don't really know what it's for. I'm going to have to read up on that, so I'm going to set that aside. We have our user's manual right here. A installation guidebook and underneath that we have our board so I'm going to take this out of the box set it to the side and close the box up so I can rest the board on something okay so here's the uh, I'm gonna take it out of the packaging in just a second but here it is Just go ahead and get the bag open. I want to do this somewhat carefully. So sorry if this is taking kind of a long time. I didn't actually realize what kind of sticker was on here or tape. Okay, so. That's all done, and I want to be really delicate with this. So, um, just give me one second here as I try to dump the bag off. Set it down so I can get a better grip. And here's the motherboard. Overall, it looks pretty nice, I think. Um, I don't have a clear casing, so I'm not going to be able to see inside of it anyway, but it looks pretty nice. Here's all of our connectors on the back. Um, here's the audio, which again, for Hackintosh, I won't be able to use, but um, for the PC, I will be able to when I put Windows on it. Um, we've got a bunch of connectors over here, so those are PCI and PCI Express. We've got some headers, I think, for um, the front ports, front panel. Uh, we've got our SATA ports, our RAM, CPU slot, um, USB 3.0, 2.0. We've got our uh, VGA, DVI. I'm not sure what that is. You have your PS3 port. So it's got a wide variety of ports. You also have Ethernet, and I did order a, um, a network card to for Wi-Fi. That hasn't come in yet. 
So here it is, here's the motherboard that I'll be using in my build. Looks just like this. Pretty nice. I thought it was gonna be lighter than this, but I guess not. And, um, oh, that port's HDMI right there. That's what that is. So, look forward to my build videos. I'm gonna go throw this back in the bag so it's protected while I wait to put it together. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything, and I will catch you in my next video. See ya.